Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in creating a simple Java Swing application. And so the goal of this application is to actually create a calculator. Um, not those type of calculators like where you enter the buttons, but a different type of calculator uh, where we have, actually we have a rectangle that we're going to draw on screen. And we're going to have some uh, input fields where when the uh, where the, when the user actually enters the input fields it's going to actually resize uh the shape for it and then calculate the area and the perimeter down below so yeah let's make a start on that project so first what i'm going to do is open up intellij uh intellij idea and i'm going to create a new project mm -hmm. called uh, let's see. Let's create a new project. This is going to be a Java project. And I will upload videos on how to install the IntelliJ IDE and Java and set up Java and everything like that. But that will be in another video. Let's just focus on our application. So the project name will be uh, Shape Calculator. Actually, let me do shape app, shape application. Uh, okay, uh, finish. So this will actually create a new project for us in IntelliJ. And beautiful. We have our main.java. We have our project and our source folder and our company name. So what I'm going to do is actually create some classes right now. So I'm going to delete the main class and create some classes. Let me create a new package actually first. So this package uh, will contain the resource. And let's create a package called project. Oops. I had to new package project. There we go. And let's rename that to resource. Okay. So now in project, I'm actually going to create. Um, let's create a frame, or Java frame. It's going to be called frame. In our, and then in our project, I'm actually going to uh, create a driver class, which we call driver, right? And then we're going to have, a, in our resource, we're actually going to have a, let's see what we'll have. Let's have a square. Yeah, this is going to be our square. And in this, we'll have a math shape math. And yeah, okay, let's define those. Now let's work on our frame. So in our frame, we actually need to define a J frame or a Java swing frame first. And that's what we'll all be doing in this video. And in the next video, we'll be continuing on from our progress. So let's just define our frame. So public frame. Now, this is a constructor. Now in our constructor, we will define a, let's just do that out of there. Let me do a private, actually make this public. If I need it, then I'll do it later. So let's make this private, J frame, at frame. So J frame is actually part of the Java swing uh, class or Java swing library. And Java Swing is a uh, uh, library for developing uh, basic applications, and it's the default library for developing applications. So there's Java FX also, which I'll be talking about later in some other videos. And that's actually more robust compared to Swing. But uh, Swing is the library that everyone actually uses when trying to make an application. Uh, but Java FX is used for like uh, high-end applications and stuff like that. 
But for the simplicity of it, for you guys, I'm going to use uh, Java Swing. So, yeah. So we have our J frame called App Frame. And I'm going to do App Frame goes new J frame. Right? And then I'll do App Frame. What is this going to say? Oh. App Frame dot set title. And the title is going to be. Uh, actually, what we can do instead of doing this, you can just make a new J frame there. Then we do app frame. Set title. It's going to be shape calculator. Now app frame dot set default close operation. Swing constants dot exit on close well maybe need to oh there we go window constants I'm sorry so let's go through the code so this is actually the app frame so we're setting the title of the frame to shape calculator we're setting the closing operation so when we close the application we need to set it to exit on close. So there's many constants like um, hide on close, do nothing on close. So we're going to do exit on close because when the user exits the application, we actually want to exit out of it. So now let's define some more things. App frame dot set size. We want to set the size of the window to let's see how 300, 300 works for us. Width of 300 and height of 300. And let's do app frame dot set uh, we could do an icon image uh, but we'll do that later so let's do app frame dot set let's see let's set the background so set content pane actually get content pane dot get content pane dot set background so what this does is actually it gets the content pane which is the actual window the window um, thing itself and it sets the background of the content pane to whatever we want. So let's do color dot black. So that means we'll have a white uh, shape rectangle. So let's do app frame dot. Let's see what else is there. Set. Let's do a set. Um, oh yes, we need to do. We need to always pop up the window in the middle of the screen. So we should do set location relative to no. I'm gonna set the layout of the app frame. Set layout to no. And finally, want to set visible to true. So this is our frame. Now, what set location relative to does? is that whenever the uh, application is uh, like run, it is always going to pop up in the middle of the screen, nowhere else. If we do remove this, then it will pop up on the left or the right. So we always want to pop it up on the middle, and we want to set the layout to null, which means that we want to place the components on that uh, frame ourselves by defining, uh, defining the coordinates of each button or each component or each label whatever we want to define the coordinates of it and set it ourselves manually instead of relying on a default layout given to us by the app frame so yeah this is our frame done so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to driver and do PSVM public static void main we're gonna do frame frame goes new frame so we're instantiating a new object of frame and assigning it to frame variable and now we just need to run it so I right click I run and after we run it you guys can see that the shape calculator window has popped up on my screen so this is the application window it's very small I know but we can fix that and one thing that's uh, very useful to me that I found was that I don't want this window to be resizable and for a reason that is I haven't set a layout manager on my frame 
so I have to set everything manually uh, but the layout manager actually helps when resizing but for our uh, example uh, for our simple uh, thing we don't want a resizability uh, option uh, for the other projects I'll show you a resizability option that we do want for, but for this one I actually want to make the window a bit bigger and set the resizable to false so we can just do that in our frame let's set this to 600 600 let's make that 500 and now we can just do app frame for a resizable set resizable to false now let's run that again Now you can see that the window has grown to a bigger size, but I actually want this window to be a bit bigger. So let's do, let's do, actually let's do 700. Let's see if that will work. So you actually need to play with the width and the height variables to match your uh, expectations really. It's personal choice, but for this, uh, um, but for this application, we want a pretty big window. So let me set that to 800 and 700. Let's make this 850 and 750. You gotta play with these values. And I'm sorry if my computer fan is a bit loud. Uh, that might be causing some background noise, but I don't think it will disturb us with our application making. So yeah, I think this is a substantial window size for us and we can work with this. I think I'll just make the width a bit bigger to 900 and let me make the height 800. Because when we draw the shape, shape's gonna, shape's gonna resize, you know, so the shape's gonna be bigger in height, bigger in width, and so we want a pretty big space to work with. Let me make that 1000 actually. So in programming, there, there's there's a um, concept of many changes when you write code. So now I just changed it, and if I don't like it, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing it until I get the preferred size that I want. Okay. This is a good size to work with. Mm. Actually, I'll change it to this. Oh, I'm so picky. But it doesn't matter. Oh. Okay, there we go. This is the perfect size I wanted. And another thing, we need to make this static and final. Because we will use this in later... Uh, I made this static because I want to access this app frame from each and every class and I made this final because there well there's only going to be one app frame and I'm actually no I don't want to make this final uh, I might have to change the default close operation in other classes but we'll talk about that later just make sure to have your J frame private static and not final and make sure to have these codes and let's run that again running well now we have this window over here we have the title there's no icon set yet but I'll show you how to do that later so yes yeah, so this concludes uh, the first part first video in our uh, I don't know how many part series this is gonna be but this is the first video in making a shape resizing and like uh, area perimeter calculating calculator whatever you want to call it so yes, I'll see you guys in the next video where we will place our components on this window. And yeah, please make sure to like and subscribe to my videos, show some support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.